How to avoid an episiotomy. An episiotomy is a small incision, usually made during the second stage of childbirth, in the perineum, the area between your vagina and rectum, which stretches and sometimes tears during delivery. One, until recently, the procedure was performed routinely on almost all women who delivered their babies in hospitals, under the assumption that a surgical incision was preferable to an uncontrolled tear. Now, many obstetricians recognize that episiotomies are usually unnecessary, and episiotomy rates are dropping, though not as quickly as they probably should be. If you want to avoid an episiotomy, take steps to lessen the likelihood that you will need one. Finding the right care. Consider giving birth with a midwife. Although most American women give birth under the care of obstetricians, there is information suggesting that midwives tend to perform episiotomies less often than obstetricians. If you have a high-risk pregnancy or wind up with complications, you'll have to be transferred to a specialist. Therefore, if you choose a midwife as your provider, be sure to discuss how this process will work. Most midwives are affiliated with hospitals and obstetrical associations and can transfer you easily to the care of an obstetrician. High-risk pregnancies should be managed and cared for by a trained obstetrician. A midwife does not have the training necessary to take care of high-risk pregnancies. Consider a certified nurse midwife CNM, who is a midwife with graduate-level education and training. 3. Look into the possibility of delivering your baby at a birth center. Birth centers are non-hospital facilities, which are usually staffed by midwives. Midwives will typically use other methods to help relax the area, such as using warm compresses. 5. Find a supportive obstetrician. If you decide to use an obstetrician and give birth in a hospital, whether out of medical necessity or personal preference, find one that supports your desire to avoid an episiotomy. Ask lots of questions about how many episiotomies a particular obstetrician performs, which circumstances he or she performs them under, and what his or her attitudes are toward other interventions. In general, an episiotomy rate of 15% or less is a good sign. This suggests that a practitioner does not tend to perform the procedure routinely or unnecessarily. Six fear that they are sometimes necessary, however, to prevent an even more severe tear of the perineum. Get additional support. Whether you choose a midwife or an obstetrician, and whether you have your baby at a birth center or a hospital, you can also enlist the support of a doula, a professional who specializes in helping women through labor and delivery. You can also enlist the support of a doula before and after labor to provide physical and emotional support. These doulas are commonly referred to as antepartum and postpartum doulas. 8. If you don't want a doula or cannot afford one, this supportive role can be played by your partner or another trusted person. Make sure this person is as educated as possible in ways to help you deal with the pain and stress of labor, including breathing and massage techniques, and understands your desire to avoid an episiotomy. Ask about water birth. Some birth centers and hospitals offer the option of giving birth in water, usually in a warm tub or pool. If you have this option, consider it. Water birth lowers episiotomy rates considerably, and it also tends to minimize your pain and make labor shorter. 